5 continues to investigate the dysfunction within Alabama's driver's license system. Yesterday, we told you about how long wait lines at Mobile County's Demetropolis office has led people to drive all the way across the bay to the Fairhope Satellite Office in hopes of getting faster service only to run into more snags. If you're not there early or don't make the list of 100, you're sent back home empty-handed. Today, News 5's Emily DeVoe found out why negotiations to improve the system are at a standstill. Experience longer wait times. On a sweltering hot afternoon, camping out at the DMV is probably top of your list of places you don't want to be, especially when it's bound to be an all-day affair. Three hours, like two hours. Over three hours waiting. And that's nothing new. There's a reason the Demetropolis branch earned the nickname the Madhouse. It didn't just happen overnight, and yet any efforts to add another office or hire more employees are quickly shot down and blamed on the state budget. There's no excuse right now for the budget because the budget that we're currently debating is next year's budget. Mm -hmm. So really this year's budget was not cut. In fact, Representative Margie Wilcox says the DMV should have seen a bump in revenue since they raised the fees to get a license this year. Back in March, she toured two potential locations already owned by the county, hoping to convince the state law enforcement agency that they should expand in Mobile. Now, those plans are on hold. With the budget in limbo, all of that has been put on hold. There's no communication from Aaliyah further about that, and they've said they really can't address that until the budget is finalized. They also can't address the sign-up sheet situation in Fairhope. For main offices like Mobile, you can actually go online and reserve an appointment time so you don't have to wait all day. You'd think it'd be easy to do the same thing across the bay, but a spokesperson for Aaliyah says in order for it to work effectively, you need an extra employee to handle those appointments as well as walk-ins, and they can't afford that. This is ridiculous. I see little people sitting out there. And it bothers me. Fairhope legislator Joe Faust is fed up. After he saw our story yesterday, he says he's reaching out to the agency to make a plan for the office to go digital. It's something we need to sit down to the table and talk about. That way you can sit and read your Kindle at home while you wait instead of here. Getting information for this story has been frustrating. The state law enforcement agency higher-ups are all in Montgomery. Their spokesperson was able to communicate with us through written statements, but didn't get clearance for an interview to answer all of our questions. It's not something we're going to let disappear, though. We will continue to look into the DMV dysfunction in an effort to find a solution that works. Live in the newsroom, Emily DeVoe, News 5.